Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Done Figure Live again. My name is Betty Finkelsen, and I'm the marketing manager uh, for our Cup Flowers given in Done Figure, a breeding company for the past 69 years already. Uh, you're most probably familiar with a part of our variety. Uh, excellent Dyptophila, Million Stars Dyptophila, Paint for Presperia, Soup Cabiosa, uh, and many, many others. Uh, today, I have the pleasure of having both with us Alison Bradley uh, and, uh, of course, Stefan Verbella from Belgium, who just recently uh, won the fifth prize in the Robo Cup. So, congratulations, uh, Stefan. Uh, he will share with us some uh, table center pieces design. And I'm sure that he will inspire us all with his wonderful creation. Uh, I invite you, as always, to ask questions on our chat here in the Zoom, but also on our Facebook Live website. Uh, we are going to gather all the questions. Alison will do her best to answer uh, it immediately during the session. Uh, for those of you who didn't do, do that before, we invite you to... Uh, Follow us on our Instagram, Dancing Girl Live. I'm excited to say that today, just recently, an hour ago, we finally reached our 1,000 followers. Uh, so I'm happy to see that everyone, um, yeah, so I'm happy to see that. And I'm thanking you all for believing in us and uh, uh, continuing following this page and sharing the, your, your work and thoughts uh, on our page. Uh, and I'm happy to see that you find it valuable. We're doing our best to uh, fill it with information and design and your work uh, to inspire everyone. Uh, I also invite you to follow us on our Instagram, Imagine More Flowers. Uh, also, uh, you can uh, tag yourself in with your work. Um, I would like to take this opportunity uh, to show you uh, a short video about excellent Pixophila, which I believe that uh, Stefan will use in his work in one of his pieces as well. So go ahead, you understand? I'm so excited to talk to you about one of Danziger's most popular variety, Excellence Gypsophila, also known as Baby's Breath. Excellence is the biggest and widest jib in the market, available all year round. Recognized by these beautiful florets that have this pure white, exceptionally large and perfectly ball-shaped flowers. Excellence is a flower that will never go out of style because it is trendy and inspires creativity. It's notorious and dense inflorescence accompanied by a straight and strong stems, really add voluminous presence to any composition. This sturdy flower is great for shipping by air or by sea. Floral artists around the world are using this renowned variety because it is so versatile that it can be used as a filler or as a vocal flower that acts as a statement piece. Sky is truly the limit when working with excellence because it's so multifaceted and really resourceful flower. Its brilliant white highlights the color of other flowers and adds such a delicate texture to the mix. As a florist, I really love to use excellence in installations at weddings because they help me to fill in the space and really create this fluffy appearance of an ethereal white cloud. But also simple and elegant enough to place by itself. With excellence, there is a rainbow of possibilities because they can easily be tinted in an eco-friendly process in any color and ready to combine with different color palettes. Dare to explore with our ever popular excellence jib and have fun while creating your own masterpieces. Trust me, it will not disappoint. Okay, so after she had some fun, Alison, I invite you to have your own fun uh, here with Stefan. Enjoy. We are excited. We are really keen to see what you work. Bye-bye. Thanks. Thanks, Betty. Uh, just to correct one thing Betty said early, the 1,000 followers are not on Instagram. They're on Facebook. So it's Danzig Live on Facebook. Okay. Hello, Stefan. Hi, dear Alison. So first of all, congratulations with the thousand followers, I would say. 
Thank you, yes. Um, it's really quite interesting to see they're from all over the world. It's, in fact, it's a bit like that with this too, as you, I mean, you are an internationally renowned young man by anyone's standards, Sterling. Um, and as Betty said, congratulations on your fifth award. Um, I know how hard that's been for you, not in terms of competing, but in having to wait for years and years until you managed to get there. Yeah, it was a, a, a long trip to go finally to the Europa Cup uh, <laughs> with all the problems in the world. But, yeah. 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 But you've managed to, to get a new dog, so that's good. I have two dogs. <laughs> two dogs. <laughs> Did you get yeah. in between time? So it's like, ooh. I'll in one year time, two dogs, so it's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so I would call your dogs sausage dogs. Yeah. That's, yeah? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. yeah. In Flemish, we call it tackle. Really? Yeah, really? and then German is a Dutch hund. Oh, yes, of course, it would be Dutch hund. And, and yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but sausage dog is also, yeah. A very uh, familiar name for my dogs. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, just as long as you don't start eating it, that's okay. So anyway, <laughs> today we're going to cover um, table centerpieces. Um, how I've, I've known you for so many years now, it's hard to imagine. Um, but certainly some of the stuff I've seen you do is very spectacular because you do some very large scale pieces, don't you? Yeah, uh, I have the luck that I work together like with the uh, Royal Union of Floristry of Belgium and we organize like events and most of the time the big projects uh, are from my hand. So yeah, projects from yeah 20 meters high and stuff like this. Uh, the last year were passing by on my uh, jobs. <laughs> yeah, so, absolutely. yeah it's, a, it's a challenge every time. Uh, but it's nice to do, and it's it's a good way to promote uh, flowers and floristry. Yeah, yeah, but equally, it's not something that everyone has the opportunity to do. I remember speaking to another florist, um, a very well-known florist, who said one of the failures within um, the master education in his country was um, that people never ever had the opportunity to work on such large scales. You know. Yeah. Most florists don't really have that chance. Yeah, that's why we uh, already start to work together with schools in Belgium. We invite them like to help on these kind of projects Great. if it's possible, because they also have like their schedule, of course. Uh, but sometimes they come and help um, on this kind of project so they can see what it what it means. Because a lot of people, we also have a lot of volunteers, luckily, but yeah. they are always uh, shocked about uh, how many hours work you will spend in it yeah. uh, on this kind of arrangements and, and what, what a job it is. Because a lot of them are like broken after <laughs> five days helping on this kind of uh, things. Yeah. Yeah, I've noticed when we worked together at IPMS and we did a demonstration, um, one of the questions that was asked fairly regularly was how long did it take you to make such and such an item so yeah. you have a lot of body adornments and cloaks and things and especially the students were desperate to know how long it took you to make some of these things uh yeah it, it depends on what is the job but normally like for an event uh we have we start on monday and it's opening on friday so it has to be finished but sometimes it becomes night work yeah, it's an all-night session. So yeah. hopefully our table centered pieces won't be an all-night session today. <laughs> no, it's not going to be a night session. <laughs> I want to see you changing in your night outfit, but uh, we are not <laughs> going to do that. <laughs> so I already prepared a lot of stuff and I did not go for the biggest things. I saved the biggest one for the last. I have prepared today for, today for you five arrangements. Okay, great, thank you. Thank you. Um, and of course, we worked with the, the, the beautiful flowers from the Anzinger group. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the, the first one, it's like more for a round table. I'm going to show you a little bit closer. Oh, great. Oh, you wow. See? Love. And I started on a base. I don't know. Do you see it? Yes, I can. Yeah, it's a base that you find from uh, Oasis. Uh-huh. Um, so it's technical, easy. 
this one, but inside you see a ball. So this is the type of ball. So if you are not using your toothpicks, <laughs> you can also use them decorative. So this is also like uh, oasis, like the dry oasis. Uh -huh. ball. You put them full with the toothpicks. Yes. And then you're gonna spray glue on it. Uh -huh. Put some like this sand. It's a small, really small sand. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you glue it on because it's not too heavy, and then you can spray it in any color you like. Wow. So that's a, a technique that I really like to use. I also use it on the Europa Cup with my table arrangement that was like with longer wooden sticks and then in black. So. The technique is very nice because you already start with a nice structure. Only like this, you can make different bowls, put some tubes on it, and put full with flowers. It's also uh -huh. nice to do on the table. So that's you another could, idea. No, but you could do that as a really long table centerpiece. Big yeah. heights and sizes, great. So yeah. Yeah. Of course, it's a lot of work to do this. So if you're doing this, you have to rent it several times as a florist because otherwise <laughs> it's not commercial. But it's not become bad. Of course, you have to be yeah, careful yes. with this because it's still an oasis and a lot of toothpicks inside. So you have to be careful with it. So that's hidden here in the middle. Okay. And first, I start to put my flowers around. And I start with uh, the limonium. Yeah. It's the Sephora Pink Sky Limonium. It's the, the small one, you see? Yes. All flowers. And then you go over to, it's a new variety uh, that you can find also with uh, Danzinger. It's uh, the Lavender Scoop. No, sorry. Yeah, I'm no, wrong. It's the Limonium. Enchanté en français. Oh, oh, yeah, why well, you see that's good because you're pronouncing it correctly. Yeah, Enchanté. This when Betty trying to pronounce it, it was so funny. Enchanté, yeah. Enchanté, uh, Limonium. Uh, so it's the bigger one. So I start first with more the fluffy one because I think yeah. it's nice when it's on the table. Now it's standing on like the cheese plate. It's easier to work, you see, then yeah. I can turn around. Absolutely. Uh, but normally when it's standing on the table, it will float on, on your table. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. So inside I used also a, a very nice Vanda to bring some rest in the arrangement. It's uh -huh. a, a Vanda Divana seashell. Seashell? And, wow. Yeah. Mm. It's a very nice color inside because it's got like this kind of green gold, like you get back from the toothpick bowl. Pick it up. Uh, and then the purple is also inside because you have the purple, of course, from the two limoniums. And then to bring a little bit of contrast, because otherwise it's going to be a purple rain thing. So I want to have a little bit more color inside. I bring this uh, orange Newtons yeah. inside. And I also used the Hypericum. It's also from Danzinger. It's the Hypericum Global Punch. Uh, but this one I used first on the sticks. So you can have this kind of small sticks. Ah, oh, yes. And then you can put a little bit of cold glue on the stick. Uh huh. And then you put it in. And then on the other side, you do the other one. And then you can put them like in between your arrangements. Oh, clever. Yeah. I like uh, the contrast, of course, in, in, in colors. Uh -huh. And also, if you just put it like um, only put the flowers in the, in the foam, yes. I think it's a little bit boring. <laughs> so you have to make it more interesting. Yeah. And the same hypericum is coming back here. And the color is coming back from the from the Newtons. You see? I'm to tell you that the the new global, which the global is actually hypericum, okay? It's global punch and it's a new a new variety. It's extra large. I was thinking that is extra large, isn't it? Yeah, the balls are really uh, huge. So yeah. you really see them. So wow. you have also a lot of them on, on a stand. You already pick some out of them, ah. but they are quite full. So that's also nice for a florist. If you want to put it like in arrangements and you want to split them, it's also possible. Excellent. And then you see this beauty. 
Kibiosa. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a very nice one. So yeah. it brings more the soft uh, purple color back that you also find like in the orchids. So is this lavender scoop, I think it's called. Uh, yeah, that's the name I said before. <laughs> That's the one we heard, yeah, because um, it's really funny because I'm here reading these out. I'm really pleased you, you did Enchanté, though. That was good. Enchanté. Enchanté. Do, do you speak French, by the way? Oh, only if I'm terribly drunk. <laughs> so what is in your glass? <laughs> What's in my glass? Unfortunately, it's the older flower cordial. It's a nightmare. Um, no, uh, I think it was really funny. I was having dinner once again with uh, Fei Dupre once in, in Korea. And all the way through, he, he was struggling with trying to speak English. And then all of a sudden, oh, there you go, Ross. Hi, Ross. That is Ross from Northern Ireland. Yeah, Ross knows about me and a, a, the old alcoholic beverage. She's a shampoo <laughs> drinker as well. Um, and as the evening went on, more and more French was coming out of me. And, and he's like, I thought you couldn't speak French. And I said, yeah, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, it's normal. When you're drinking a little bit of alcohol, you are not afraid anymore to talk a language. It's true, because I learned this when I was um, at school, you know, and we never had the, the cause to use it until I'm sitting in Korea with a Frenchman. <laughs> 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 you have to travel for that, especially to Korea. <laughs> hey, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I can tell you there are yeah. there are nice places in France to visit also. Oh, well, yeah. Well, actually, yeah, we've ended up in some strange restaurants, have bread and I. It's quite bizarre. Anyway, um, Farida Kalim's on from Pakistan saying, wonderful, Stefan. Nice to meet you again. <laughs> yeah. And all, now I'm going to say this. Angelique, I'm sorry about saying this already because I don't know how to pronounce your surname, but I know a man that will do. Angelique, Shell Strat, something like that. You know an Angelique? Angelique? Yeah, 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 yeah. She was one of my volunteers that helped me with uh, the Europa Cup. So I was very happy that she wanted to come and help me. Very <laughs> good, even better. And Heidi saying good morning from California. Yeah, there, there are people on. It's all good. Uh, oh, Dimitri. Hi, Dimitri from Greece, saying a very beautiful table arrangement. And greetings from Chicago, Illinois area. What is the grass in the arrangement? Um, oh, yeah, here we go. Is it curling like that naturally? What this, this is oh. the kind of silencia. Yeah, I think, is that Tillandsia xenografia, uh, yeah? I do not know the, the second name, but it's a, it's a new variety from a Belgian grower uh, okay. that uh, helped me with the Europa Cup. So it's really new, new. And these are like baby plants. Okay, so um, there you go. Teresa, it's the Tillandsia. And um, if that's the case, it curls naturally, yes. The grasses um, that Stefan's using with the Hypericum berries, he's flexing himself, yeah? Yeah, this is uh, this is dry material. I don't know if you can see ah, it. Ah, it's a reed. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's one of the reeds, yeah? Yeah, we call it coffee reed. <laughs> Do you? Yeah, in Belgium. <laughs> and you don't even drink coffee. There you go. It's good for stirring. Um, yeah, but it's, it's, a, it's a nice material to use. It is. It's lovely material to use. Oh. Oh, it used to be a favourite with Gregor, didn't it? Oh, really? Agnes, Ag yeah. Agneska says hi from Warsaw in Poland. Oh, that's also nice. Yeah. We're doing good. Are we going really international? Oh, sweetie, darling. Absolutely. <laughs> There's no holds barred with us. No holds barred. So, you know, when I first... Oh, here we go. Oh, dog. Dom, he's a darling. He's saying hello from El Paso, Texas. Oh. Oh, he's a darling. Yeah. Totally lovely guy. Lovely guy. Well, um, you know everybody almost. Yeah. Well, it feels like that. We, somebody <laughs> said that one of my friends came to whatever with me once, and she said, 
Is there anyone here you don't know? I said, we're safe, let's go to the toilet. And then guess what? Who was in the queue? Lots of our friends. Um, Cordova and Andra saying hi from Romania now. So it's the, the world is opening up here. Um, this is gorgeous. You know, when I first started um, doing flowers, they always used to say that you had to make sure that a table arrangement had to be low enough to see over the top of. You know, so yeah, you, yeah, but a lot but of that's, you, by the, that's old hat now. <laughs> <laughs> so the first arrangement is like finished. So I'm gonna show it to you a little bit closer. Oh, beautiful! Oh, and I see. Have you impaled some of the hypericum heads onto your cocktail sticks as well? Yeah, also, yeah. Okay, brilliant. Well, that's beautiful. I love it. Absolutely gorgeous. So you see the, the contrast in the colors, but it makes it more interesting, I think, for me. And I think the purple with the orange, it's it's a nice combination. Yeah. Also, I like the graduation of sh shading from the pale lavender right through the deeper color. Beautiful. Yeah. Here we go. Loving the coloring, as says D. Hi, D. That's from the UK. Hi, guys. Beautiful arrangement. Greetings from Colombia. Hi, oh. guys. Oh, yeah, I was on. Twitter. Hola, hola, que tal? <laughs> oh, here we go. He's speaking foreign. Oh, Christian's on from um, Singapore and Randy from Edmonton, Canada. Hi, Edmonton, Canada. Here we go. Uh, and yeah. Okay, so we're beautiful, apparently. Oh, oh wow. Ooh. Yeah, so the next arrangement, you know, this kind of uh, plates like where they put like cakes on but you also have it like in floristry when they use it a lot like for uh, burning candles on or stuff like this sure. so i thought if you have like a table for a buffet or sometimes on wedding tables you have like bigger arrangements and lower things that you do a combination on a big table so i think that's also very interesting uh, to make something like this so what is this? Bring this closer to Alison. She cannot see. <laughs> she cannot see. Okay. Oh, God, I love that. Oh, that's perfect. That's beautiful. So inside, on this metal uh, plates that are built up, I make this. Ah. So first, you make like leaves in uh, aluminum wire. Yeah. You turn them around with, with normal golden wire. So then you have the leaves and then you fix them to uh, an, another yeah, iron wire. Yeah. And then you turn it around full with gold. So this you can move like in every direction you want. Yeah. And it looks, yeah, funny. It was, you know, you remember that uh, one time I did a birthday calendar when I was 35, a <laughs> few years ago. <laughs> So this is the part of the construction that I had around my own body. So that was <laughs> really heavy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You do not want to know where this was, it? <laughs> no, don't say it was. <laughs> Behave. OK, we're saying hi to Carolina from Colombia, team again. Gosh, oh. Colombia's on, aren't they? Wow. And Christian in Singapore is saying this is beautiful. I think she's saying that, that the arrangement is beautiful, but she might be talking about you, Stefan. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's the arrangement. <laughs> <laughs> well, they don't know you're wearing shorts, and I do know you're wearing shorts, yeah? Yeah, it's like really in Corona time. We, yeah. I, didn't, I don't know what you are wearing behind the... <laughs> I'm in Scotland, I've got 26 layers of wool on, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Is it already so cold? Yeah. Do you know, um, two weeks ago, it was 12 degrees here, Stefan. Oh, really? Seriously, yeah. You did not have, like, the heat wave? Oh, uh, well, we had it for three days. Oh, Connie van der Westerlaken's on. Wow, already love this one. It's a beauty. So Connie says hi. Hi, Connie. Hannah says, Hannah from Hannah Beckley says, hello from rainy UK. Actually, it's dry up here in Scotland, darling. Um, and who else? We've got someone else. I missed it. Oh, there's my darling, Keith Lynn from Singapore, who's a darling guy. Beautiful wire detail, he says. Thank you very much. 
yeah. nice to hear always that the people are watching so oh, oh, gosh, they are. And, and that they like it yeah. <laughs> so i hope they stay watching <laughs> well <laughs> they should we are just on arrangement too so wait a little bit longer oh yeah hang on yeah uh, oh, Farida is saying the Gloriosas are a lovely color. Farida grows um, Gloriosa in her, her garden. I've never been there, but I've seen lots of Oshkosh. An amazing garden. Very, um, how will I put it, cultured type garden. Whereas I'm more um, a wild garden, but you're not surprised by that, I have no doubt. <laughs> it fits your personality. <laughs> <laughs> You've got quite a tropical aspect to your garden sometimes, mister. Of course, you have to do that. Yeah. If yeah. it's possible. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Well, you get better weather than we do. Here we go. Hello, greetings from India. A lovely table arrangement, and I'm enjoying it. Sans. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Sanjivana. Sanjivana. Hi, Sanjivana. Hi. <laughs> Oh, here we go. From Barbie Flowers from Rome. Many, many greetings. Hi, Barbie Flowers. In the UK, we can grow Gloriosa in a greenhouse. That's very true. Yeah. But that's because you're in Ireland, darling. <laughs> so, are you in the mood for a pina colada? Oh, show me the pina colada. Oh, pina colada? <laughs> yeah. <the> <laughs> so, sorry to disappoint. You. It's, not, it's not the drink, but you get this flower. It's the Sensi Pina Colada Limonium. It's like a very nice um, soft yellow from color. Yeah, so it looks really pretty, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it's really. I really like the color, and yeah, it's a very strong flower. So it's it's always nice for a florist. Yeah. Uh, if you have it like in your shop and you do not sell it completely, you can still dry it. So, and yeah. also that's uh, yeah. this time again like a height. Too. Yeah. So that's not a waste of money when you buy it for your shop because when you have a shop, you do not always know if everything will be sold. So then these type of flowers are always nice and also, yeah, it's just nice to fill something up. It make it like more springy. How do you say it's springy? <laughs> because I create my well, own that's language. Very good. That's very I good. guess. Oh dear, I was trying to explain what. Uh... What having working with you is like it's having it's like having a ray of sunshine um that bursts out of a gray sky yeah you're full of enthusiasm and uh, <laughs> a lot of wow passion now here we go dimitri's back on again he's a lovely guy we've never met but we've talked a lot as you do and uh -oh. We love limonium because after we use it we can then dry it as well. Yeah. You go back to your customers and grab the limonium, you naughty boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Now, this sounds like a Belgian name to me. Hello, everyone. Kun van Malderen. Is that right? Kun, Kun van Malderen. Yeah, he is the director of the uh, uh, Royal Union of Floristry. Oh, hi. Should I curtsy? Yeah. Right, so, if she's royal? Uh, no, it's only. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the union of the floristry is uh, royal. He is oh, not so much. I was thinking she was He's missing the crown. No <laughs> crown, no diamonds, no tiara. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I want to that. see him with the crown and the diamonds for sure. <laughs> oh, here but he had a really hard time because he just started to be director uh, okay. just before COVID started. So uh, oh, he easy. had to work really hard in that period for all the florists. Uh, and he did a good job because we were lucky that they saw a flower shop like important to live. So the flower shop could stay open during uh, a part of COVID uh, yeah. in Belgium, but they cannot sell decorations. So that was the only bad thing, but people could still buy flowers and plants. Ah, okay, right. Yeah, so that was cool. So he did a very good job for that for the Belgian florists. Well done, Kuna. Is it How do you say his name again? Kuhn. Kuhn. Well Kuhn. Done. Kuhn. Okay. <laughs> Listen, this is good. Now I've got Randy Sandboo says, what is the structure? Okay, Randy, for this one, it's um a series structure. It's the kind of thing that um is often used for actually sometimes it's the kind of thing you might use for afternoon tea, I suppose. 
Yeah. Different layers of cakes, that kind of thing. Um, but as, as, as Stefan said earlier, it's nice but with candles decorated up, it's beautiful. I do like the, the, the gilded color. And also, oh, Farida, thank you. Oh, I loved your garden, Alison. It's lovely and kipping. Oh, she's so sweet. So there we go. Okay, this is all good. Keep talking to me. I do like chatting to you. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, in the meanwhile, look at this beauty. That is gorgeous. Can you put that I, beside? I put it just in front of my face and think it's better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, another skibiosa then. That's okay. I'm just looking through my list here. Oh, now this is floral scoop by color pink. Yeah. Yeah, that's correct. Gorgeous. I love it. I yeah. have to say the scoop series of scabiosa is just it's just darling i love it yeah it's a really nice uh, flower and you see also the color degradates no it's really dark in here and yeah. then it goes like more yeah softer from color so that's also a part i really like Usually. and for in the arrangement because i have like the yellow and the soft pink color so this brings like more deep deep yeah. in it so yeah. that's nice nice for the arrangement also so inside the arrangement, I have like gloss balls so uh, to put the flowers inside. If people are wondering where I put the stems in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, yeah. Let's, let me go. I've got another, I've got another quote. This is hysterical. Uh, OMG, it's like I'm in a stand up show. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks we're a comedy act. I love you both. Well, we love you back, Marju. Thank you so much for that comment, sweetie pie. That's oh. Yeah. yeah. Actually, we have been known to have the odd laugh or two, Stefan and I. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, One, but you know, you need to laugh a lot in life. <laughs> oh, yeah. Even actually, even when things have been going really badly, we're still laughing. I think it's sometimes <laughs> called hysterics. Yeah. Yeah, the only problem is the wrinkles you get from it. <laughs> oh, don't start. You're just a baby. Stop it. It's just yeah, mm, this baby yeah. becomes next year 40, so... Okay, as far as I'm concerned, you're still a baby. <laughs> <laughs> you need to hang out with me all the time because I'm going to say, well, he's so young. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will move to Scotland. <laughs> I tell you, I have, I have a girlfriend who I say only hangs out with me for contrast. She is so beautiful and she likes to hang out with me. You know, she even sent me recently photographs of two pairs of new shoes she's bought because I can't. Oh. I, oh, here we go. Randy has asked, now this, I'm going to just read this out as it's put here because it's so funny. Sorry, Randy, I'm laughing. Is it glass balls or floral foam? <laughs> glass balls. Okay, he's got glass balls, Randy. What can I say? That he likes to play with balls. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, it's funny. I said that to Danziger when we first um, hooked up several years ago. Betty and I, one of these days, we're going to have a girly weekend and disappear somewhere, I think. And... Um, and we got on the chat, there was, um, Shirley was on as well. She's, and with a dead straight face, she said, Danziger is famous for big balls. Well, honest to God, I couldn't breathe for hours afterwards. I was laughing so hard. She was talking about Craspedia, of course. Yeah. But, but oh my. It could be also for parties, like a ball. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Betty says, with pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but this is Talk about the balls. Oh, here you go, Craspedia. Right, here we go. Because it's my last stamp for the arrangement. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then oh. you can see they are really <laughs> huge. <laughs> We're up and down, why don't you naughty thing? Oh <laughs> God, isn't this? You know, it's been so. We've had such a bad week in the UK and and in Scotland. Just uh, just working with you, just perfect. Just perfect. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Okay, so that's paintball crispedia. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So 
I I just think they're so wonderful. They're so strong and yeah, it's also a flower that I really like to use, the Craspedia, because it's giving like a nice effect in your arrangements. Yeah. Uh, later on, you will see it on the end, the last arrangement also, that when they are really popping out. So it okay. gives like a, a, a funny dimension on, on, on the arrangement. And also, again, it's a flower that you can still dry afterwards also. Yeah. Yeah. So that's also, and it stays nice from color because you have a lot of flowers when they dry they are like losing yeah. a lot of color but this one is still nice Gorgeous. when it's dry mm. so that's I also think. nice uh but like for yeah it's nice to make frames with it and and then put full with graspedias also but you can pop them out so you can use them in different kind of ways and that's that's always nice when you have flower I, I must say i do like this variety the dancing girl have developed it's quite interesting to see them with the we were in colombia last week and uh Ori took us to see them, uh, oh no it wasn't, it was Anna took us to see them growing and you know there's such long stems and then there's ball on top. <laughs> Bring it closer to us because I know the guys. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna oh. turn a little bit around. Oh yeah, oh nice. So these are these Tillandsias again. Uh, yeah, but these ones are shorter. The other one was really long ones. There is a difference in the, in the uh, variety. Okay. Because I will see if I can show the difference. Wait a little bit. I have to explain to everyone. Stefan is trapped in there. The table, he's wedged up against the table. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I can I can always climb over it. So <laughs> you have this one and you have this Ooh, one. Wow. So this one is the one I used now in the latest arrangement, and this one was in the first arrangement. The first you see, there, there is a difference. Um, but like I told you, these are baby plants. Oh, they're baby plants? Yeah. Darling. So there's a 40-year-old to me. Yeah, here we go. A part, Sylvia Lucia Rodriguez. There's a name, isn't that fabulous? Sylvia Lucia Rodriguez says it looks great and you're a super artist. Oh, darling. That's true. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> oh, caramba, where are we going now? Oh, Teresa says you're genius. There you go. So this is the next arrangement well, for the people that like sustainability. Yeah. Uh, it's without foam and it's, yeah, it's a glass face that you use. And then inside you have like, I make rolls with uh, asperdistra leaves and you just you just needle them that's like the most commercial way you can also glue them but that it takes longer time of course and then you block everything in the vase you see gorgeous i'm sorry about the names i'm sorry about the names to hang on i'm just going to answer something here <laughs> In the last two rooms, in the last, oops, two rooms. I'm sorry, you can't tell how much I'm multitasking here. It's just amazing. I hear you typing. Oh, no, good. Okay, so is this Jip? Yeah, we have yeah. the Jips of Villa. We saw already the nice movie in the beginning when we started. Okay, well, can, can I just introduce a question? Because lurking in the background, there's a young man that nobody can see. Oh goodness, it's up already. Here we go. And he wants to have some answers from you. His name is Jonathan. He's a lovely guy. So how often do you use gypsophil, gyps, gyp, oh God, gyp. <laughs> Speak it out. Work, either yes, you can. <laughs> very often, occasionally, and rarely. Oh, apparently I did Sylvia Lucia Rodriguez really well. Thank you. Oh, okay. So if you're on Zoom, you're able to take part in these questions. So just answer away. Oh, here we have the answer already. Oh, that's good. Occasionally, hang on, I need to get rid of something because I'm terrified to click anything. If I click anything, it could be a disaster. Um, so it's either very often or occasionally. 70% they only use it occasionally and 30% say very often. Okay, thanks, Jonathan. Can I have the next question up there while we're still here on the, the old JIP questions? B, 
bear with us, they say in the trade, Stefan. Here we go. When you're using jip, <laughs> what flower size do you prefer to use? So is it big, medium, or small? This is a straightforward question. <laughs> I like excellence because it's the biggie. Yeah? Yeah, size matters. I like size matters, Danny. You're so right there. <laughs> Oh, stop it. Oh, here we go. Um, Yolanda Vandelux is on saying it's sta uh, fantastic. Sta fantastic. Right. <laughs> That's a new it's word. A we love her. Oh, this is interesting. 48% like big, 30% like medium, and 22% like small. You know, it's quite interesting. Sometimes it's country related, doesn't it? You know, where you live. Um, Okay, here you go. Yeah, but also, I think it depends on what, what kind of arrangement you want to make, no? Exactly, exactly, yeah. Um, especially, you know, uh, Artie, Artie Lyra, did yeah. um, a seminar for us just on the subject of JIP, and his thinking was really interesting to listen to, you're right. Uh, D. Kelly says to everyone, I don't like the smell, it smells like cat's pee. Well, there you go. How is how the dogs around your cat's pee drip then? <laughs> well, thanks for that, Dee. <laughs> you can always spray a little bit of perfume. <laughs> yeah, that too. It could be like Pepe Le Pew. That's before your time. Not, not yeah. Okay. So what you've done is you've created these um, cones. Holders, cones. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah how do you scroll it from the app? What is a, a round thing like this? A pipe? Perfect. And they're all in water. Yeah. And then so you... all the stems. Now I like to put the gypsophila inside the rounds. Yeah, perfect. And they come immediately into the water. Uh -huh. So it, it's it's technically very easy yeah. to make. So everybody can do it. It's also commercial. Uh, I put now two vases and they are fixed to each other where they wouldn't stick because I like when there's like a little space in between. But if you have like one, it's also possible yes. to put it on a table. But also like for people that have a shop, uh, if you put like this, a few together and you have like maybe a smaller vase and even a bigger vase, it's always interesting uh, to sell. Yeah. Because when I give like uh, classes to florists or something also, then I always say like you have to have in your shop like a small, a medium, and a large, but you make the most of the medium. Because if you go to a restaurant and you have like wine on your uh, menu card, mm -hmm. then you have three options. People will never choose the cheapest one. They will always choose the middle one. So always make more of the medium size because it's more interesting. But don't make two sizes because then, then the chance that you're going to take the cheapest oh, one yeah. is bigger. So it's still you want to make money in this business, so you have to be a little bit smart on that. That's a really good tip. That's really brilliant. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm missing certain things coming through here. Oh, here we go. Be oh. Here we go. So from Beek, B-I-E-K-E. -E. Is Beek, is that correct? The clerk. Oh God, why don't you know this person? Anyway, <laughs> what so, is the name? <laughs> I'm saying Beak or Bikey. Some B I E K E. Beaker. Beaker. Hi, Beaker. <laughs> <laughs> so you've made a tower of glass balls. Did you glue them? That was in your last, you know, your conical design? Oh, no, they are fixed on the construction that I made with this. So you first put yes. this inside on and the then you line. can fix everything uh, on the construction. You can drop it around, yeah. So it's not glued in a tower. It's like um, wired. You remember uh, Stefan showed us earlier on how he used flexible aluminium wire. I'm talking to the chat box. Why am I doing that? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. Anyway. <laughs> Maybe you're too much after your computer. <laughs> so he's attached them to the uh, flexible aluminium wire to, to hold things together. Then we have, here we go, the lead, 
cut well I'm getting my my mouth is out of synchronization here. Um, yeah, the Tillandsia, one has softer leaves than the other. I grow them too. You see, she grows all sorts of interesting things, does Farida. Really, okay. Yeah, really keen plants women. And she loves your mechanics. Thank you. But you're right. I, I actually like this, this form of thinking in the shop. So if you have three different sizes, um, yeah. yeah. Medium one is the one you're aiming to sell. You're right. I think that's that's a very yeah, but I think a lot of florists are not thinking or uh, sometimes like a consumer because they really have to reflect themselves when they go out like for a dinner or they go by to see like in a shop by themselves. Like in, in Belgium, you have like this trend. You can like let's take a picture of your pupil of your eye. Uh, yeah. It's a special camera. And you can put it like in, in glass square box things something like this is really cute it's really fancy okay. uh, yeah really <laughs> but they only had like two sizes i said to the people after the desk i said excuse me but i want to have a little bit bigger yeah it's not possible so what did you buy is the cheapest one because the other one was way too expensive uh-huh yeah yeah i've got it well apparently stefan you pronounced the name correctly okay oh uh, thank you Vika. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Bika. Um, I like how Stefan makes a color soft. It's an old school technique. Actually, that's true. It is an old school technique you're using there, yeah? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, that's, I'm sorry. You see, he's just a baby, darling. He's hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just thinking, Dimitri, you know, you and I are the same generation. He's the baby. <laughs> So it's now you see it a little bit from closer. Totally love it. So I only used for the rest, uh, like the, the Santidesia or the Kala. I do not know if it's in English also Kala or Santidesia in Latin. Wonderful. I love this. So, I'll send it over. <laughs> what? Send it to Scotland. I'll have it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think when it's arrived with you, it's not going to look maybe so good anymore. <laughs> We can always try. <laughs> oh, it, it, it got water, so that's that's a good thing. Perfect. Yeah. The, listen. So this one is just like in 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 green and white thing, so it's really pure, just yeah. like me. <laughs> oh, dear, what you like? Oh dear. Oh gosh. Well done. That's great. I love it. Mm. All right. I bet the dancer girl goes like that. That's their kind of thing. Okay. Okay. We are going to Did the he next. Just say he's 33 years old. <laughs> what? I don't listen to him. What did you say? I like how Stefan makes a color soft. It's old school technique. Yes, I'm 33 years old, but it's one of the best ones. Uh, yeah, you have to give the massage. Yeah, <laughs> we're not going there. We're not going there, Dimitri. I know what it's like. It's Here very difficult, eh? On, on, oh. uh, online. <laughs> this is looking gorgeous as well. Yeah, so this is a technique and an arrangement that takes time. <laughs> really. So <laughs> we start uh, from a base like chicken wire. Yeah. Uh, you see? Ooh. Oh, that's a big chicken wire. Right. Yeah, it's more. Yeah, you also have it like more decorated. It's normally, the color is like copper. Yes. Um. So you can you can use it like in a visible way. So we really do not use it for the chickens. We more use it for um decoration stuff. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, so I put a few of them together, so it becomes like more strong, uh -huh. because I make like a shape, a waving shape. Uh -huh. uh, and then I used a lot of uh, paraffin. It's also the same in English, Say like again. the paraffin from paraffin, the candle. Paraffin wax. Yeah. So and then you take like a brush and you do all the time stamp, stamp, stamp until it starts to be fuller. Yeah. Inside you find the dry flower leaves of the hydrangea Annabelle. Yes. Because I have them in front of my uh, house here, yeah. and they grow like with big bushes and. In winter, they become like really brown, That's right. but I like it. So yes, I use them dry also. So inside, I'm going to put it again, really close. 
you see them sitting in there. Absolutely gorgeous. So you're on, what you've done is you've done a metal uh, flexible aluminium wire construction and you've, you've tubed into that with decor wire wrapped around the tubes as well, yeah? Oh, now you're already on the tubes. <laughs> Sorry, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I take like this chicken wire, I call it, but it's like a net, you know? Yes. Yes. It's all with squares. Yes, I like it. And I put a few together. Uh -huh. So it becomes stronger because one is not ah, strong enough. Okay. So is it yeah. it's not like one square and then another square? Yeah, it's yeah, along and then you put them all layers together. Okay. I think one, two, three, four layers above. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. And you fix this together, so and then you can create your shape already, and then you can start with the paraffin. Do it all the time on it. Okay. But it's a dirty job, by the way. So, <laughs> you know, if you're into cooking, you have this special paper <laughs> or in, in your oven. <laughs> That's right. They do, actually. That's true, there is. Yeah. So, you, if you take that under it, because if you do it on your table, you will not be happy. No, <laughs> that's true. That's very true. Yeah. Well, and then recycle old candles doing things like that. You know, half used candles. That kind yeah. Of yeah. But I used candles, old, old. I mixed all the old candles together and I get like this nice greeny blue it's color. Really nice. yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it's the problem is you cannot make it twice. <laughs> 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 it's the same when you're mixing paint for the for your wall. I know. <laughs> That's the yeah. same. We're decorating just now. I know exactly what you mean about that. Yeah. Yeah. So then above I make like a construction with uh, iron wire and then you take your drilling machine and you take like uh, a nice color of iron wire and you drill it just I think the technic is already I think the technic is already known no I think no you see in here yeah can you bring that color this part yeah. okay you so you put the iron wire into an electric drill head yeah and yeah turn it on and then you have the decor wire yeah. going up and down. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's a great technique. Yeah, it's it's working easier. Yeah, it's fabulous. And then you create this structure above. I yeah. also put some branches inside so it gets some a little bit yeah. of air inside, yeah. you know? Uh, also, the plastic tubes, you see here, plastic tubes coming in front sometimes uh -huh. here. You see? Yeah. They're all with the paraffin. Excuse me. <laughs> Fine, with a paraffin, yeah, I've got it. I'm trying to find somebody's name here. Okay, that's not working. Okay, I'm going to answer everyone. Um, sorry, I'm trying to do three things at once. It's not bronze net, um, Farida, it's actually heavier duty than that, it's chicken wire. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're very big chickens in Belgium, what can I say? <laughs> Like I said before, size matters. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, isn't this fun? I hope everybody's having a good time. I am. <laughs> I hope everybody. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, yeah. Well, they might never speak to me again. What? I was looking because I'm answering all sorts of questions here and I'm spelling things wrong. It's awful. <laughs> So also for this, I use the Chipsophila, the the excellence. Excellence again. Yeah. So oh, I first put it in. The... Okay. So you get like a, a, a cloud above oh, your construction. A drip cloud. Actually, yeah. a very beautiful young woman in Israel spoke about a drip cloud. Can I ask the lovely Jonathan if he can bring up another question? We've got two more questions. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. He's listening to me. Okay, so the question is, do you have a preference for specific gypsophila, gypsophila varieties? Um, so when you're ordering them, do you always ask for a specific variety? No, you buy whatever is available at the wholesaler, or I just ask for the specific size I need. If you answered yes to specific, could you then... Um, write in what your variety is for us please thank you over to you stefan oh sorry what <laughs> keep going 
<laughs> yeah, I was already pre preparing my arrangement again. Oh, so, yeah. the what was the variety? If you used excellence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I think it, it's also uh, when you are buying with your wholesaler, I think it's important that you ask for a kind of quality that you're used to or that you want. Yeah. Um, and also, uh, it's. I think it's so very important that florists need to test sometimes the products because one florist thinks it's good and the other one thinks it's not good. So, uh, yeah, it's very important that they test it. Yeah, I think so too. Um, what? Well, oh, here we. Oh, here we go. Um, okay, so fifty percent of the people ask for a specific variety, right? Um, twenty five percent split on both of the other ones. No, I buy whatever's available. I just ask for a certain size. And unfortunately, because um, there's a message on my screen, I can't actually see what the answer is mm, in the second part. So I'm sorry, I can't see that bit. So I'm sorry about that. Okay, and we've got one last question. <laughs> please god we've got one last question oh betty says they're going to uh, put all the answers into their newsletter okay geronimo here we go okay oh now this is an interesting question as breeders so danzinger are breeders they are not uh it's difficult to explain the difference between a breeder and a grower but basically they develop new varieties that are then sold to growers to to grow. So as breeders, we are always trying to fulfill the market needs. Which of the following attributes describes the most attractive new gyp breed? A new color, a bigger flower size, smaller flower size, with special scent, that's for UD. <laughs> <laughs> longer stems, I can't, I think it should say stronger stems because it's this message or other. If you have answered other, could you please um, enter an answer there, please? And this is the last um, of the, the questionnaires that we're putting out. So if you could, um, fill that in for us while my friend Stefan keeps working. <laughs> yeah, I'm still going on. I don't know how, many, how much time we still have. Uh, not a lot, actually. <laughs> you see? Uh, well, yeah. Um, well, I'm giving us a little bit of extra time. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, you know, after this, it's uh, the last arrangement, so. That's good. That's, that's good. good. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, oh. oh, people are saying 22% uh, of people want a new color of chip. 56% uh, want bigger flower size. 11% mm. want smaller. Oh, this is quite an interesting feedback. Okay, so the feedbacks of these, uh, the feedbacks of this questionnaire will be in the next newsletter. So if you have registered here, as far as I know, you will see what the answers are in the newsletter. So interesting. Okay. So to go quickly about this arrangement, I put also the ah, nice lipidium. Lipidium green dragon yeah inside but Perfect. i did not make it like wild i just wanted that it's following the shape so i really put it like into the construction so it's like actually do you know that lepidium green dragon sits out of water for weeks and weeks and keeps its color it's amazing oh really yeah there's something i found out from another competition we did once and it was a uk uh, florist who yeah. came back to me and said, this is it after so many days, after so many days, after so many days. It was amazing. So, but oh. it does bring that lovely lime green quality and it lifts up your lime green um, dribbles. Oh, I didn't know that. It is. It's, well, it's I will show it again fun. a little bit closer. You can oh, see everything. Love it. Excellent. And then we can go to the last one. And last but not least, I hope everybody's okay and they're not bored or anything because we're having fun here, as you can tell. We go for the big one. Oi, caramba. Oh, yeah. Because 
I think always on the end, eh, you have to jump out on the good way. <laughs> well, you should always go out in the good way, darling. Absolutely, you should always go in there. Always go out the this, mm. I use this plastic uh, champagne glasses. Yeah, plastic champagne. champagne glasses? Yeah. Don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> Plastic champagne glasses. I know you like champagne. I know sorry. it's classic. <laughs> it's, it's an empty glass. Okay, okay, I suppose. So <laughs> I glue them on a wooden plate. Okay. And then uh, I sprayed uh, again with the glue and the same scent that I used with the bowl. Great idea. On it. Yeah. Because then it makes it more fancier because otherwise it's like you say it's plastic. And I do not want to have the look of plastic too much. Um, so that's the way I use it. But I like the so, idea of adding texture as well. That will hold the color as well. Yeah, and uh, it makes it more yeah fancy, more class, classy. You know, yeah, it's chic, so great. A little bit chic. <laughs> uh, and it's this not so cool. heavy than glasses. You know, that's yes. also a good thing. You <laughs> are absolutely. <laughs> out my crystal i'm not bringing crystal anywhere near you you'll just stick stuff to it i just spray it in gold <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> See you. yeah i have to kill you then <laughs> so again pure on techniques is this easy this really for everybody to make you can also make it smaller if you want or bigger but yeah. i think um for a, a party it's a nice idea Great if you have to put like a few on on the table yeah. on the higher thing that it's like pumping out or something yeah. or on the buffet table or something like this um or on the bar can also be nice also nice, yeah <laughs> because people are hanging more on the bar afterwards <laughs> than on the table <laughs> or so, you're up dancing you'll be up dancing yeah of course <laughs> uh you see um I first created like a base with the Solidago. It's the Solidago also from Danziger, the Golden Glory. So yeah. the name fits the color of my, my champagne glass. Well, oh, they knew that. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, so that's nice because then you do not have like anything of greenery. And I put it just on the same level. You cut it like the same level of the champagne glasses. Okay. So the, the base is already made. And then you can put very quickly other flowers inside. I also used again, the uh, pina colada, uh, sensi, sensi pina colada, limonium. Yeah. So, okay, it's a champagne glass, so it's a little bit mixed up with the alcohols, but it will work out, I guess. They are I not guess, fighting I yet. Uh, also, the dragon, um, what is green it? Dragon, the, 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 green, the green dragon. Yeah, green dragon. Uh, lipidium is inside. Um, I found also, again, like I told before, here the craspedias are really popping out yeah so they're really playing in, yeah. in this i think if you have champagne it has to be explosive you know yeah absolutely go for it um and then i found like a uh, beautiful clematis nerina uh, i have the gloriosa flowers and i put some orchids again with the the soft pink and yellow inside yeah and uh, as the last flower is again this beautiful oh, scabiosa. You don't have to sell me scabiosa. I just love their scabiosa. I think they're beautiful. Now we've got a question here. Yeah, but... Here we go. Here we go. Um, this is from Laura McCann. Hello, Laura. She is saying, "Is it glitter you attach to the glass?" No, it's not, darling. But I guess if you want to put some spray glue on it you could put glitter on it but it's actually it's a form of sand stroke gravel it's a textural thing have you still got can you reach can you manage to reach the little tub of sand or the gravel the grit yeah there it's it just de de decorative sand yeah that uh people use like under candles or yeah. stuff like this yeah it's great i actually i love that stuff yeah, yeah. And it gives like immediately a structure on your uh, on your work. Oh well, I've got a message for you. Oh, uh, hi, Stefan and Alison. Four exclamation marks. Okay, sorry, I've just tuned in. Something to do with kids and dinner. It's Hanukkah Frankema. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. You're looking after the children, Hanukkah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh dear. Okay, but this is gorgeous. I think this is really something that has seriously high impact. Here we go. Thank you, Stefan and host, for sharing the new breeds from Danziger. Oh, darling. I'm watching in between the repeats of Her Majesty the Queen, the funeral from Edinburgh. Yeah, I know. I watched the procession to um, Rose. Okay. Don't get me there because I'll just go. So <laughs> don't. No, you are not going. I'm not going to yeah. burst. No, it's okay. The only thing what we can say, she loved flowers. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Queen loved flowers. Mrs. Queen absolutely loved flowers. She did. She was at Chelsea when you were there. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. But she probably she visited... tripped over you. You were lying somewhere near the bar, if I remember right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the moment she visited, I was walking around in Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, yeah. She did love flowers. Actually, oh, don't stop. No, see, if I start talking about the wreath now, I'll get really emotional, so don't say anything, Bradley. Okay, so this is beautiful. So you start with the solidago, yeah? Yeah, and then uh, I put the uh, limonium, lipidium, the, and then the lipidium, yeah. and then I start to uh, Put okay. the Graspedia inside. Yeah. And now and you're putting in things like so the Scibiosa, and you've got some Clematis in there as well. I see, and one or two Gloriosa. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. A really doable um, thing. Yeah. It's, what? Very, it's a very commercial piece, actually. Do you know what I uh, love? About is it transportable? I love things that transport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you can lift it. Yeah. It's not, they are not from glass. It's just plastic. Eh? I know. The only thing, it's full with water. So you have to be uh, a little bit uh, careful yes. that you're not uh, using all the, the water on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> you see, if that was on the floor, that would be a disaster. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, 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 it's really uh, easy to transport, yeah. Everything is glued so it cannot move. Yeah. And yeah, then you have the extra glue to, to do the sand on it, the color. So yeah, it's very easy. Again, when the, the moment you have this structure, this base, you can refill it up again. But important, clean it because a lot of people forgot to clean like tubes or bases or stuff like this. And if it's still full with bacteria inside, your flowers will die quicker. Canamba. Yeah, always wash your <laughs> please always wash your glassware, tubes, the lot. Everything needs to be washed and sterilized and cleansed. Um okay, so here's Sally. Um Sally Hardy is saying, mm -hmm. I love the idea of the champagne glasses, so do I, but usually fill with the champagne, darling. Very clever and very striking. I actually love also the texture on the base of the wooden base. I think that really works. Yeah. I, 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 when I was making it, I was like, okay, now I have just plastic things on a wooden plate. I was like, yeah, this looks a little bit cheap. <laughs> so how can I make something cheap, a little bit more yeah. classy? <laughs> classy. Oh, that's very you. You are very classy, aren't you, darling? I have my moments. Have my moments. <laughs> I have like a, a thing when a, when a friend of me, we always arrive classy, but how we come out again, yeah. we don't say. I've been, listen, I've been there. I've seen that trip. <laughs> <laughs> well, Stefan, this has just been the best. I've had just such a great time. Um, you do? I have, yeah, because you've really cheered me up so much. I can't thank you enough. And I love your work. It's just, I've always loved your work, but you know that. Well, you should do by now, for goodness sake, shouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Um, so thanks very much. And Betty, if she's lurking in the background somewhere, oh, hang on, there she is. You know, she, Betty, darling, you're on mute. So I think here I am. Here I am. Here she is. <laughs> Betty is another person that hangs out with you for contrast because she's the gorgeous one. Yeah. Well, thanks, Stefan. <laughs> a blast. It's really great. And um, I love. Here we go. Teresa is saying, I enjoyed the interesting vessels and assembly processes here. They're very creative. So there you are. Thank you. <laughs> I hope everybody enjoyed it. Oh, I, th yeah. I think, I think, I think that 
D. Kelly also mentioned, oh, it popped up, that if, uh, uh, where is that? Yeah. This design would be great for a New Year's Eve party. Yeah, also. Oh, there you yeah. go. Just, um, oh my goodness me, they're coming in thick and fast now. Thank you, it's a very educational and inspiring live class, actually, you, darling. Oh, here we go. Love the designs, they're so creative and it's been wonderful and inspiring Coral Short says. I can say Coral Short, that's really good. I can pronounce the name. You have more problem with the Flemish names. <laughs> <laughs> Stefan, your designs were exquisite. Very inspiring. Yeah, I, I wished we, we are uh, in Israel, we are soon having our holiday season, all the holidays with New Year's Eve here in Israel. If I, if I could have even dreamed to do one of the things here for the table when I'm hosting this, <laughs> The New Year's Eve, it will, it could have been exquisite, but uh, we'll think you about always, easier solutions. <laughs> well, I tell you, you need to have Mom for a party next year. And if you're having him for a party, I don't want plastic champagne glasses. <laughs> I promise you'll get real ones. <laughs> yeah, you're always welcome to invite me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always in for a party. <laughs> it's been a blast. Oh, it's been great, hasn't it, Betty? It was wonderful. Really inspiring, and the flowers look amazing, and you are really great. Oh. And I just want to add that we'll have pictures from Stefan in, I don't know, in a couple of days, and then we will share it with everyone on Dancing Your Life, so you can all see the pictures on all sides, and if you have more questions, please do ask, and we will be having... Uh, so much fun to answer you and to share with you everything we will share also the results from the survey in the newsletter so don't worry about that and the recording will be available so we we do our best to uh, make it easy for you to uh learn more more things and to get inspired by by your colleagues uh and friends so thank you both of you alison and stefan it was great hosting you thank you and uh, we we'll look forward for uh, the next one so uh, we'll update soon. I'm saying nothing. There's a big <laughs> secret. There's a big secret the next one, yeah? Oh, OK. Oh, yes, it is a big secret, yeah. Okay. By the way, how do you say K-O-E-N again? Is it Kun? Kun. Kun says you were wonderful. And he's looking forward to seeing us all again. <laughs> I don't know if I believe that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, darlings. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye. -bye. Bye.